welcome back to Pamela's Pantry. Since we are all going to be staying home for a little while, I thought this would be the perfect time to film an updated hair dye tutorial with you guys. I am going to be adding blonde highlights to my hair and I know a lot of us are not going to be going out to the salons for a while so I was hoping that this might inspire some of you girls to try the same technique at home. It is so easy, it's so affordable and I have been doing this for years. So if you guys want to go ahead and see how I do this then just keep watching. So step number one is going to be to comb through all of your tangles. It's recommended to dye your hair when it is pretty dirty. The color will last longer, it will hold to your hair a little bit better, and my hair is definitely dirty. I cannot even remember the last time I washed it, which is really bad. <laughs> we have been home, obviously, so I have not washed my hair. Hashtag mom life, hashtag quarantine life. <laughs> so once you get all the tangles combed through, then you are ready to get started. typically part it just slightly off center. I would recommend doing that before you get started so that way you kind of know how things are going to look once your hair is done. So once we have our mixture all set up, you are going to just take your index finger and your thumb, dip it in, and you simply just start by taking pieces and painting the the highlight on your hair. I don't go all the way to my root. I just kind of start like a few inches down and then I just like work the product up a little bit towards the root, still leaving most of my root exposed. I rotate side by side so I'll do a piece from this side and then I'll do a piece from the other side of my part that way it all evenly looks the same All you want to do is simply just pull pieces forward. After you get everything on the sides and the back of your head, what I like to do is I like to take pieces from underneath, just like random pieces, pull them through and add the highlight to it. These are the pieces when I curl my hair that show and I feel like that looks really pretty in the curls when there are some more lighter tones coming through. And then just randomly pull as little or as many pieces as you want. on your hair it's gonna look a little something like this we are going to let this 
sit on our hair for about 30 to 40 minutes. I think I'm going to leave mine on for about 40 to 45 minutes just because my natural color is super dark and I do want this to lift a little bit lighter. So after it sits, I am going to go ahead and rinse it out. I am going to use the shampoo and conditioner that comes with the hair dye and I cannot wait to show you guys what it looks like after. So I just washed my hair out and I'm about to style it. I am just going to go ahead and comb through. definitely just wanted to warm it up and just add some more lighter tones into my hair. I love that it just like blends in really nice with my roots all the way down. So obviously you guys can see how super and easy that was to do. Um, so affordable. We have no idea how much longer we are going to be staying inside. So I totally encourage you guys to um, go out, get a box. I actually don't have to go out. I ordered this on Amazon. It was less than $7 and so easy. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.